Good evening, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle that was recently posted to the Sudoku testing channel on the Cracking the Cryptic Discord server. And um, it looked interesting to me. And when I reached out to the setter, Chris C, he told me that it was an introductory puzzle to try out the constraint, and it was designed to be quite an easy puzzle. But it still looked interesting to me, and I have no objection to easy puzzles. Um, I've brought a couple of hard ones uh, recently, or I've recorded a couple of hard ones recently. I don't know the release order yet, but um, I thought doing this would be interesting, because if this is going to be a new constraint that we're going to see... Um, Chris C do a bit more often or maybe other setters pick up I thought I would like to cover it so um yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So this puzzle is called Bound Dominoes and I've read through the rules and the wording is a little bit odd, but I think I understand what they are. So um, let's get to this. There'll be links to the puzzle below, which are the links that have been um, provided by Chris C to on his post. Um, and I am going to, uh, yeah, I'll provide those links and Sorry, I, I, I'm a bit daunted by this. the rules. Not the puzzle, but the how to explain the rules. I think it's fairly simple. So here we go. So um, well, before I start, um, I've mentioned this, I think, in the last few videos, but um, we've recently set up a, a Discord community on what was Ranks. It still is, but Ranks Discord server, but he's opened it up for um, some of the other people who do uh, Sudoku videos. So rather than have multiple servers, we're doing it all in uh, one location so people aren't spread out across um, lots of areas. Um, and then you can come to us and talk to us about our channels and what we do. Um, and lots of setters are there if you want to talk to them. Um, and it's, uh, we're not trying to pull people out of the cracking the cryptic um, area because I recommend you go there. That's where all the amazing puzzles are posted and anything. But that is fairly structured in what that server is. And we're trying to be a little bit more free and we can talk about our stuff more openly there because on the cracking the cryptic server, of course, we can't talk about our channels openly because it's theirs. So anyway, um, that exists and there'll be a link to that below as well. But onto this puzzle, Bound Dominoes by Chris C. Um, so normal Sudoku rules apply. So um, in every box, in every row and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Uh, killer cages. So in cages, the digits... I've tried to summarize this a bit. Um, digits will sum to the total that the cage needs to have. If a number is given, that will be the total for the cage. If a number is not given, then the total for the cage is going to be the number that is placed in the cell that it is connected to. So for example, in this cage, which does not have a total, the total of this cage is going to be whatever is in that cell. The total of this cage is whatever is in that cell. The total of this cage is whatever is in that cell. So this is going to be a little bit interesting and I've never done a um, Sudoku like this before so let's give this a shot. So this six cage is immediately interesting because you can only make up a six with a one five or a two four but this couldn't be a one or a two because if this was a one these two cells would have to sum to one, which you cannot do. If this was a two, these would have to sum to two, which is two ones. You cannot do that. So this is four, five, which means this is one or two. Now, if this is four, this is two, and this would be one, three. If this is five, this is one, and this could be two, three. Either way, there is a three in this box. So that's kind of interesting. So this is either one, three or two, three. So this is, and we've got a one, two, three triple in this box. So that's interesting. Maybe I, I honestly do not know what I'm looking for. Um, so a 17 cage can only be eight and nine. So this is an eight cage or a nine cage. Ah, but this is connected to both this cell and this cell. So this has to be an eight or a nine as well. These two are the same total or the same value because this cage sums to that and this cage sums to that. So 13 and five or nine and four. So this is a four or a nine. Oh, this cage, this is a one, three. So this is a three, this is a one, because you can't have two cells sum to one. So this is a one and a two. 
Okay, so there's a few things going on here. So this one three here makes this two, which makes this one, which makes this three. So now this is five, so this is five. And that works. So we've got one and five equals three and two. Yeah. This is kind of cool. I like this idea that the setter in me is thinking, I wonder what I could do with this. But making, stop, solve the puzzle. Um, so what is next? So 15, there's two ways to make 15. There's nine, six, and seven, eight. So this has given us a quadruple. This, however, so the digits that are left are two, four, and five. So I could use two, four to make six. I could use two, five to make seven. There is nothing there that can make eight, but four, five can make nine. So if this can't be eight, this can't be seven. This is a six, a seven, an eight, or a nine cage. Oh, here's another 17. This is an eight or a nine. That eight and a nine, and this is an eight or a nine. This is a seven cage. This is a four, a five, or a six. If this is a four, so this is a one, two, or a three. It can't be a one, so this is not a six. So now we've got that. So, oh, and this can't be a two cage. So this is a three, this is a four, this is a one and a two, and the one over here gives us the order. This is a two, this is a one. This is not a two anymore. So this is a four or five pair, so this is the two. So this is, yeah, six or seven. So there's no nine here anymore. So if there's no nine there, there's no six there. There's probably a trick I'm missing on this. So to make up a 13 cage, I can't use an eight or a nine. It would be seven and six. And that's it. That's all I've got because I can't use eight or nine. So this is six or seven or six and seven. So these are one and four. This is either six or seven. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be looking. So this is, if this is an eight cage, it's not seven one, it's not six two. So it's five three without that being a three and without that being a five. If it's a nine cage, then could, can't be 8-1 because I can't put a 1 in or I can't put a 1 or a 2 in it. So 3 and 6 or 4 and 5. And that looks possible. So I get those because it would be the opposite order to that, and that would put four and five down here, which looks like, a, oh, this four looks like making that one and that four. This 13 cage, I think, is now a problem, because two, I can't put two in a 13 cage, so it would be five and eight, or six and seven in here. Nine, two, eight, three, can't be seven, four, can be six, five. So 14, nine, five, I can do. I can't do eight, six. I can't do seven. Oh, 
This is 9, 5. Because I can't do 8, 6, and 7, 7 doesn't work because that's... So this is a 9, 5, which means this is an 8, this is a 9, this is a 9, this is an 8. Now, if I look at this again with the perspective of just an 8, I'm going to delete them and start again. So I can't use 1, 7. I can't use 2, 6. I can use th 3, 5. I can't use 4, 4. So this is 3, 5. That 5 makes this a 9 and this a 5. The 5 looks over making that 4 and that 5. Five. This is a 13 cage, so that is 5 and 8, which it had to be because they had to be the same digit. I called that out earlier. Um, there is no 8 here, so there's no 7 here. Now, this is an 8 cage. More importantly, this is a 13 cage. Without an 8... I think I've broken the puzzle. No, this is a six or a seven. This is a six or a seven cage. And I can't use eight. So these are from one, two, three, four. The max, I can make this, there must be a four in this cage. So there's no four here. Because if I don't use a four, I've got two, three, which doesn't get me there. So this is either four, two, or four, three. So there's no one in this cage. There must be a four in this cage. Oh, I knew there's no one in this cage because of that one there. So this is the one. So this is a seven. This is, this is interesting. I am enjoying this. So this is a five cage, which is either one four or two, three, which is going to give me a one, two pair. So I cannot put a two there because I'm either going to have to use a one or a two in this box and there is a one or a two there. So I cannot put a one or two in anywhere else in this, in this column. There's a three there, so there's no three there, but that doesn't narrow that down. This is a one, two, three, four quadruple. This can't be a nine, this can't be a nine, this is a nine. There is no nine there, so there is no six there. So this is a six or a seven. This is a two, three, four. So if I put minimum values in this, I get 11. Because if I use anything higher than five, six, I'd need to use a two, three, four, and I can't. So this is a five, six. Which gives me a five, six pair in this. This is a virtual five, six pair. I have to use a five or a six in there. So one of these is going to be five or six. What are these three? They are two, three, and eight. Well, that can't be two or three. That's an eight. This is a two, three. So this is a five. Five and eight make 13. That five makes that a six and that a five. This is very, very cool. One, two, three, four, five, seven and nine go in there. So this is an eight cage. Well, what can we do here? So this is four, six, and eight. This can't be a four. This can't be a four because I can't put a four in a 14 cage or that would have to be a 10. So this becomes the four. This is a six, eight. So if this is, well, that makes that a six, eight. I know what this triple is. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Four has to go there because of the fours looking at it. So this is six, seven. 
these are two, three, and five. Which is cute. I can't use two, three in this cage. If I use two, three in this cage, both of those would have to be five. This is a one, four. This is the three. This is the four. This is a seven. This is a two. This is a six. This one, four makes this a two and this a one. There is a six, seven pair in this. Well, I can take the two out of here. So let's see what this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, two and seven. Which makes this a six, which I had anyway. So there's a six, seven pair here is what I think I was looking at. So five, eight and nine go across here. This can't be an eight or a nine. So this is the five. This is an eight or a nine. Um, this one, two, three, four, seven, and nine go in there. That can't be a nine. This can't be a nine because this entire cage has to sum to six or eight. So this is a four, seven. So this becomes the nine. This becomes the seven, which goes down making this six, six plus nine. So this is eight and seven. The nine makes that eight. Um, this would be, if this is eight, this is seven, one, can't be four, four. And if it's six, it's four, two. So this is a one or a two. It can't be a two. This is a one. One, four is five. One, seven is eight, which makes this a six, which makes this an eight. Um, this is now a four. This is a seven cage. I'm probably going to be able to get this by Sudoku, but I can't use one, six. I can use two, five. I can't use three, four. So this is a two. This is a five. Um, these are three, six, and nine. Three and six are in that column, so that's the nine, and this is a three, six. This is a known triple. One, three, and seven. The two of those that add up to eight don't include a three. So I put the three in there. That one gives me the seven and the one. One, two, three, four, and six go in there, which is not yet resolved. Um, this six is making that a seven and that a six. This is a six, a seven, and a nine. There's a six and a nine there, so that's the seven. This is a six, nine, which is resolved by the six in box three up there. So this three makes this a two and this a three, which is the summing to the five. This is two and nine. And that nine gives me the two and the nine. The two looks back, making that a seven and that a two. Um, the seven, is it? Something is going to break this. Oh, the one looks over, making that a four and a one. The four looks over, making that a six and a four. The six looks back, making that a three and a six. And then the three looks over, making that a five and that a three. And that is bound dominoes. Yeah. Um, as Chris C said, not a particularly hard puzzle, possibly one of the easiest puzzles I've done on my channel, apart from the uh, Christmas special puzzles, which were um, designed to be doable in 10 or 15 minutes. But that was a lot of fun. Um, a new constraint that I'd never seen before. I hope that it was new to many of you, um, but a lot of good fun. Um Thank you very much, Chris, for letting me do the puzzle. Um, I hope you do more of them. Actually, I think you said you were doing a series of three puzzles with uh, using this constraint where they were all tied together. So by the time this video goes live, I'm assuming that's going to have come out. I, I may be wrong. That may have come out on the Cracking the Cryptic Discord server. So um, go and look for that. Um, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for watching. It's only a short one today. Um, and uh, good luck with your solving.